Hi and welcome everyone. This lecture I want to go to inner product and uh, Gram Schmidt autonormalization process. So we did go over inner product spaces uh, and uh, in the Gram Schmidt autonormalization process in my uh, last videos. And in the last video, I did the Gram Schmidt with a vector in R2 and a vector in R3, and basically we use the dot product for that. Now, in this uh, example, or in the example in this video, we'll uh, use a different vector space. But before we do that, let me go over the process one more time. Again, the goal is if you have a basis in a vector space, so the goal is to find an orthonormal basis by using that basis. So basically what you want is find a basis that the vectors are orthogonal to each other and the magnitude of each vector is one. Now the process has uh, two steps. That's how uh, I do it. So the first step is orthogonalization. <clears throat> So what's the goal of that is to find the basis B1 with those vectors. And that's again in V and those vectors are uh, orthogonal to each other. And once you're done with that, then you want to normalize each vector. So let me just show it to you. So then you can find B2, which is the uh, normalizing each vector in B1, basically taking the vector and dividing it by its magnitude. So the first process, again, that works uh, the same. The first uh, step you take W1 to be equal to V1, always, no matter in what vector space you're in. And then you can take W, you want to find W2. So that's going to be V1 minus, and here, as you notice, I didn't use that product, but uh, I use the inner product uh, space uh, uh, definition. So this is inner product because we just know that dot product itself is an inner product. So it's the inner product of V2 and V1 over the inner product, or that's W1, the inner product of W1 by itself, and that's times W1. And uh, please watch my uh, last video. We know that this quantity is just the orthogonal projection of V2 onto W1. And I have the proof for that for the, in the last video, now, so draw the vectors. Uh, it's pretty straightforward to see once you see uh, the proof. And I did that in R2, so it's uh, very clear. However, as I told you, that works for all the vector spaces. Then if you want to find W3, W3 is going to be V3 minus, and I put the summation notation here. Basically, you do V3, so then you find the orthogonal projection of V3 onto W1 minus the orthogonal projection of V3 onto W2. And that's the general form. So it uses the summation notation. So any vector V sub i can be written. So you take V sub i minus sum of j equals to 1 to i minus 1. So here we said 1 to i minus 1, which is two here, so if we match it, and you do it one by one, and at the end, you add them. So also, although it's subtraction, but you can just add all of them and subtract them. And again, once you do, if you find all the Ws, and you normalize all the Ws in B1, and you get the basis that you uh, wanted to find, which is an orthonormal basis. Let's do an example of calculus. So you're given a basis that's in P2. 
so second degree polynomial. And we want to apply the Gram-Schmitter from, we want to use this and find an orthonormal basis in uh, T2. And the definition is given of the function here. The, here in this case, the inner product is just the integral going from negative one to one, P of X times Q of X dx. So let's start with the first step of the Gram-Schmidt. So again, the goal is to find W1, W2, and W3, which is an orthogonal basis. These are our Vs. So in the original space, so W1 is going to be just V1, it's one, and W2 is going to be V2 minus the orthogonal projection of V2 over W1. However, use the definition. V2 is X minus, and the definition set it's right here, P of X, Q of X, DX, the integral. So going from negative one to one, again, our W2 in this case is X. That's what I substituted. Our W1 in this case is one, so which is just V1. And that's divided by, so that's the inner product of W1 and W1, which is the integral of one and one. And we know that is, that is one. So these are simple integrals to evaluate. So you write X minus the integral of X is X squared minus over two. And you go from negative one to one. And uh, the integral of dx is just x, and you evaluate from negative 1 to 1. Here, if you do that, the top you get 0, and the bottom is 2. So basically, you're left with x. So we have our w2. w3 is v3 minus the orthogonal projection of w3 onto w, uh, v3 onto w1 minus the orthogonal projection of v3 onto w2 same thing you need you use the definition so it's going to be v3 is x squared minus and that's v3 that's w1 and uh, over that's w1 w1 and here minus that's w uh, that's uh, again v3 and that's w2 which is x and that's w2 and w2 so you evaluate those integrals. So if you do that, the, the integral of x squared is x cubed over three. And uh, you just write it between negative one and one. The integral of dx is just x. The integral of x uh, cubed is x four over four. And the integral of x squared is x cubed over three. So this, uh, if you evaluate so that uh, here you get two over three divided by two, and then this becomes zero over two times X. And again, this is W1, and that's W2. So you evaluate W3, if you do that, then you're gonna get X cubed minus one over three. So we have our V1, which is one X, and uh, not X cubed, but it's X squared. X squared minus uh, one over three. You're not done yet, we have to normalize those vectors. You use the same definition to normalize it. So U1 is gonna be W1 over the norm of W1. But what is the norm of W1? Norm of W1 is the square root of W1 inner product W1. Don't forget to use the same definition. Do not use a dot product here. So use the definition that's given and that goes for all other problems too. So that's just the integral of one W, one W, one, which is one and one DX. You evaluate and you get one over squared of two. If you want to rationalize, you get squared of two over two. Rationalizing is multiplying top and bottom by square root of two. W2 same way is due uh, to is found the same way W2 over the norm of W2. Norm of W2 is inner product of W2 with itself. So it's X over the integral of X times X DX. So you get X cubed over three. So if you evaluate, you get X over squared of two 
over three. You can keep and multiply, you get squared up three over squared up two. And if you multiply top and bottom by squared up two, you get squared up two over two x. So this is our u2. u3 same way is u3 over the norm of u3 which is that's u3 over the norm of u3 is again done the same way is the inner product of u3 by itself and this is u3 use the definition again you can expand that and then combine like terms you get that take the integral of uh, each term and uh, between negative one and one and if you evaluate so at the end again i put all the steps here for you between negative one and one so you get two over five minus two over nine so basically it's eight over squared up eight over 45 and you can write this as squared up 45 over squared up eight times x squared minus one over three squared up 45 is just three squared up five squared up eight is two squared up two and uh, you can multiply that three or distribute just the three just to make it nicer so you get 3x squared minus one because three times one over three is going to give you one so you're left with squared of five over two squared of two and if you rationalize this again by multiplying top and bottom by squared of two you get squared of 10 over four so we have our u3 this is an orthonormal base so for p2 that's the first uh, vector second vector and that's the third vector what happens in this case if you do u inner u1 inner product u2 by using the same definition you are going to get zero and if you do u1 inner product with u1 you are going to get one you can try that on your own to see if that works that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Again, before watching this one, make sure to watch the previous one when I did examples of Gram-Schmidt and uh, when I used the dot product, because then this is gonna make more sense to you. Thank you and uh, have a great one. I'll, I'll see you in my next video.